Hey what's going on guys welcome to another video and in today's video we're gonna build the hamburger menu you know so when I was starting to learn web development I was always so curious about like how could I build like a hamburger menu you know one with a little bit of animation in something so I'm just gonna show you now what we're gonna build so basically this should be only available like when um, when you are like on an iPad or a, um, or a mobile or like tablet, mobile. Um, so if I press just F12, I'm just going to use this um, website that we have been building for the, cup, for the couple last videos. So if I press F12 or, or just right click and I do inspect on the page, I can open the developer tools. And if I just like resize the page, look at this in here on the top. This is like the number of pixels. Usually like an iPad mini has um, a width of 768. So this is like a, a kind of um, a value that you can guide yourself. So if I put in here to 768, 768, there you go. Okay, so this is the hamburger menu that we're going to build. If you're going to click it, if you just notice, look, all our menu that was here before now, when we reach this size, 768, it disappears and we have our hamburger menu that if we click it, it does a little nice animation and then we have here our menu and we can click it and for example, go to about me or if I go in here skills, it goes to the skills section and if I just close it, it closes down. So basically this is going to work for mobile and tablet. All right, so I hope this is something that interests you guys because this is something that I, I, in the beginning when I was starting to learn, I was like, wow, I wish I could do this by my own. So in this video, I'm going to teach you everything, you know, like step by step. Okay, so let me just like take this off. So this is our project where we started. So let's go and start this now. So if we go in here to our, to our code editor, and we go back to our index.html. First of all, let's build the hamburger menu, the actual icon in there. So inside of our navigation bar, this is our navigation bar in here on the top. Let's go and build our uh, hamburger menu. So for that, I'm going to start with a div with a class of ham hamburger. So if you guys are interested how I did like this kind of um, short code, I just put like div dot, it means it's for a class and I put the class, for example, hello. And if I press the tab on my keyboard, this is because the Visual Studio code has this kind of uh, Emmet plugin. So it is something that it helps, you know, code a little bit faster. If I just press tab, look, it creates this automatically for me. Okay, so. I created this div with a class hamburger and now I'm going to create three spans. Three spans with a class of uh, line. So I want three of them. You see, you see what I did was exactly the same thing. It was a little bit of a short code. Uh, okay, so I, we have this one. Now we should go to our style.css. And in here, I'm going to create a section for this and I'm going to call it hamburger menu. Okay, so first of all, let's go and I'm going to put in here hamburger dot line and I'm going to put it a width of 50 pixels. And I'm going to put it a height of five pixels. I want to be display block. And I want the background color to be uh, white. Not sure. So let's just refresh. And it's something in here. Okay, so this is good. I want now the margin to be eight pixels on the top and bottom and on the left and right to be auto. Okay, so here we go. 
So this is what we want initially, so it's fine. Um, okay, so now I just want this to be shown on, on actually tablets, on tablets and mobiles. So for that, we are going to use a little bit of media queries. You know, if you don't know what is a media query, it's just like some, it's some kind of code that we are using to make sure that some, some elements, they are just displayed on some kind of resolution, you know. For example, tablets, usually like tablets like an iPad mini and stuff, they have a maximum resolution of 768 pixels. This is just like in general. Of course, different tablets, they will have different resolutions, but we can kind of guide ourselves for this resolution for the iPad mini. So 768. So for that, we can start with a media query. So for that, we can write at media and we give it a space, open parentheses, and we're going to put max width of 768 pixels. Okay, and we're going to put this inside there. So I'm going to say that this hamburger, first of all, I'm going to put it in here just before, and I'm going to say that Whenever, whenever we are loading the page initially, I want the hamburger to be display none. So whenever we load the page, the hamburger is going to be, you see how, how, how it's gone. But now I'm saying in here, in a media query with a max width of 768 pixels, is going to be displayed block, you know, so it's going to show. I'm, go I'm going to show you quickly in here. Look. If, if, if you press F12 on your keyboard or you just right click and you do inspect, I'm using the, the, um, the browser Chrome. It might be a little dif a bit different if you are using Internet Explorer or uh, Firefox or something, but they all have this kind of developer tools, yeah? So I'm just going to press F12. I open the developer tools. And if I just scroll down, look in here on the top. This is like the resolution that we are seeing at the moment. So in here if i go down until 768 768 there you go so in here now it should be showing so something is wrong in here let's see um okay let's see if it's in here aha ah i know what's wrong in here that's because we need to put now that when we're in here on the 768, now it's going to display block. Yeah, we should say this one hamburger because it's like the parent element. Okay, so let's refresh and look. Now, when we are 768 down, it's showing up. Look. It means that we are covering all these small little um, widths, you know, from mobile, look, from mobile in here until tablet in there is showing up. Okay, so this is fine. I just did a small change in here. I don't know if you noticed, I put at media screen and you can just put this one as well. It's going to work or, or you can just like go with this at media. You can just do this. It's going to work the same. Yeah, so let's just stick with this. Okay, so now we got this. I want now this menu that we had in here to disappear for when we are actually in a, in a tablet screen size, you know. So I'm going here with a div with a class menu. So I'm going here and I'm going to say a div with a class menu. And I want it to be display none. Refresh. And now it's not there, look. Because we are under... We are, we are setting a max width of 768, look, 725, 7, and we're going to be 768, bam, our hamburger menu is gone, and our regular menu is in here, okay, and we go down, 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 down to the maximum, and here is our hamburger menu, okay, now, let's just like, um, put these in a really nice way, you know, like, organized and stuff, so, for that, let's use a little bit of Flexbox. So let's go a little bit to Google. I'm going in here and I'm going to put uh, CSS Flex 
box. You know, you don't need to know everything on top of your head, like I told you many times. If you go in here to this first link, to the CSSTricks.com, you can get a, a lot of things in here to know about um, Flexbox. Some of you guys think, oh my God, it's so hard, it's so confusing. It's not. If you just like follow what's in here, these kind of examples, you understand it quite easily. So basically now, what I'm going to do in here, oops, I'm a bit lost in here. I'm going to, sh I'm going to make sure that uh, my logo that I have in here and my hamburger menu, they are well, uh, they are centered like vertically. So it means that they have the same space on the top and the same space on the bottom. For that, I'm going to go into my, um, what's the container that we have? The container that we have is the navigation. So I'm going in here and I'm going to say uh, nav and I'm going to put display flex. So this is the, just to know that we are setting up a container, a container and whatever we want inside to be arranging, you know. And I want now for them to be well centered, like vertically, to have the same space, like uh, uh, top and bottom. So if you go in here to this page, look, if you scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Uh, we have this one in here, align items. Look, we want this kind of example. Look, even though uh, some items, they might have like different heights, you know, we want them to have the same space, like from top and bottom. Look at this. Something like this. So for that, we need to first put, as we put in here on the container, display flex. And then in here, we have to put align items. So I'm just putting here align items. And this one that we want, this, this case, we want center. So align items, center. So if I refresh the page, okay, so now look. How, how well they are vertically spaced. Okay, so this is fine. Now I want them like to be uh, each one on each side of the navigation um, of the navigation bar. So for that, I'm just going in here again and look in here. I want this situation in here, space between. So it means that I have one of the elements in here right on the side and another one right in here on this side. So I should put Justify content and then space between. So if I put in here justify content and I'm going to put space between. Okay, let's refresh the page. And look, this one is still in here. That's because we were using something from the previous examples, some ab something about the CSS after, like to clear the floats. So I'm just going to do in here. I'm going to do nav. If you were starting this from the scratch, you shouldn't have to put this what I'm going to put now. But since I'm, I'm using this example from before, I just need to clear this out. I'm going to put content and I'm going to put none. So this one in here. Now, look, it's fine. Like I said, if you are starting this from scratch, you don't need to put this little bit of code that I put in here because I'm just like uh, uh, clearing a, a fix from before that that we were using in the other example. Okay, so this is fixed. So this is as we want. But look in here. There's a small space in here that we don't want. This is in the div with the class logo. There is some margin. I don't want any margin now at the moment. So if I put in here nav logo and I want the margin to be zero. Okay, so now it's it's well on the on the edge. So I want them to have the same space on the sides. So for that, I'm just gonna say that I want my navigation bar to have a padding on the top and bottom of let's say 20 pixels, and on the right and left maybe 30 pixels. So this is top and bottom, and this is left and right. Let's refresh. Uh, maybe it's a little bit too much. So I'm going to put maybe like 10 pixels on the top and bottom. Yeah, that looks better. Look, 10, 10, and in here on the left and right, sorry, 30, 30, 30, 30, and then we have uh, 10 pixels on the top and bottom. Look in here. Okay, so we got this right now. 
Now that we have these, let's start doing the animation. But before the animation, let's just do something really quickly in here. I want that when we hover, when we hover the hamburger menu, I want the cursor to be a pointer. Look, now if I hover it, look, now when I hover this is a pointer. Before, because I didn't put this code, if you were just hovering it, there was no pointer. So now whenever we hover this, there is a pointer. So this is a good thing that I want to do. And I also want to do something in here that is about the animations because we are going to do some animations. So I'm going to do some transition. And I'm going to put all and I'm going to put um, two seconds and I'm going to put is in out. Uh, let's put maybe just like three seconds. No, 0 0.3 seconds. So I, you're, you're just going to see this in a, in a second, right? So we got this transition because we're going to animate these these things in here. And what else? What else? Ah, I need we need to put the web kit. So we need to put for Moz animation. Uh, no, Moz transition, sorry. Moz transition and we need to put the web web kit web kit transition and we're going to need to put the o transition so basically what i'm doing in here is to make sure we, we i'm just going to write down the same thing in here and what i'm saying in here is this is just the, like the the typical code you know transition I'm just doing like transition is like because there is going to be a, a animation and I'm going to target all the animations because I could target animation on the width or animation on the height, animation on opacity, displaying, you know. So I'm targeting all the transitions that are going to happen and I'm going to give it some seconds in here is going to be the duration. I'm putting it 0.3 seconds. After all, you're going to see that we can we can uh, play a little bit with this. And then I'm going to put in this like is in out it means that we are going to like make something disappear you can just put like is in if something is going to show up you can put is in out if something is going to go out so something like this and in here i'm putting this most transition so this is to make sure that this transition this animation is working fine on mozilla firefox and the web kit in here the same like for chrome and safari and we have this one o transition is for uh, the compatibility, co compatibility, sorry, with the Opera browser, you know, just to make sure it works fine on all browsers. This is a very important task for all of you front-end web developers, you know, that you need to make sure that your code works well on all browsers. All right, so we got these now. So now basically what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to target hamburger, and I'm going to put in here dot is active so this is a class that we are going to add whenever we're going to click in here on this we are going to add this class and we are going to target as well our line and we're going to put the nth child and it's going to be the second and i'm going to put opacity zero okay so at the moment, this is not happening yet, yeah? but we're going to make it happen now. So for that, I need to open my um, JS file. OK, so for that, let's go in here. I'm going to my main.js and I'm going to open in here. And if I'm just going to target this, I'm going to target when we click our hamburger, hamburger. I'm going to do a dot click and function if you guys don't understand this code very well how to do a click function i did some tutorials on javascript and jquery in in some of my previous videos so just go and check them out but i'm just going to explain like really quickly i'm just grabbing now with jquery our hamburger you know like uh, what we created in here and I'm going to attach a click event in there and I'm going to do a function. 
And in there, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this. When I'm saying this, I'm just grabbing whatever we have in here from before, the hamburger. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to put toggle class, and it's going to be is active. I think that's it. So let's go in here and try it out. Let's just refresh the page. Let's look, if you have the developer tools open, which you should, you can see in here our div with the class hamburger. And if I click now on it, you see it disappeared, that second one. And now we have the class as well is active. So basically what we did in here, look, um, okay, so what I did in here was whenever our hamburger and has the class of active, so that's why there is no space, you know, when there is like two classes like together without any space, it means that it has to be an element with these two classes at the same time. Whenever we have the hamburger with a class of is active, which is this situation in here, look, whenever we click, look. If it, right now this is when we load the place, if we click, it's going to add the class of is active. If we're going to click again, it's going to take it off. And I'm saying that I want my lines. So the lines is, look at these childs in here. So we have like one span in here with a class of line, another span in here with a class of line, and we are targeting the second child because we are using the CSS selector and th child and we are selecting the second and we are saying the opacity is going to be zero whenever we have the class is active so now we don't have is active is back and you can see the animation duration is in here if i'm going to put for some reason let's say i want this to be a little bit slower i'm going to put three seconds not 0 0.3 so three seconds three seconds let's refresh look You see how slow it is now? Look, I'm clicking it again. So basically, this is what the, the duration is doing. Okay, I'm putting this back how it was. And let's just refresh and see if it's fine. Okay, so this is fine now. Now we are going to do the other one, the other uh, animations. Okay, so for that, let's just like target now the first one. So let's target the first child now. And I want to do a transform. And I'm going to do a translate Y. And this translate Y, I'm going to put 13 pixels. Look, I'm going to click it. And now you saw, I put this. And what happened? The first child, this one in here, is coming down because I put a translate of 13 pixels. So it means that it's moving just on the Y. That's why it's translate Y on the Y. You know, like if you know a little bit of maths on school, you know, it's the same thing. On the Y, on the vertical, it means it's going 13 pixels down. And it's also the second one is disappearing. So let's look. You see? And now what I want to do is in here, I want to put a rotate and I want to put a rotate of 45 pixels. I think it's pixels. Let me just refresh and see if it's fine. Uh, no, something is wrong in here. Let me just have a look. Ah, okay, sorry. Probably it's because it shouldn't be pixels, but degrees. So something like this. Okay, now it's fine, look. So now, it's going 13 pixels a little bit down, it's moving a little bit down, but it's also doing the, the degree in here. If I'm just gonna put the rotation of the degree, let me just cut this and see. You see, it, it's going up. This is not what we want. We want it to move a little bit down. Okay, I'm going to put back this one in here. And let's see. Perfect. 
And now we are going to do the same exact thing for the third one. But this time we are going to invert the signs. So I'm going to put in here minus and minus. And I'm going to put the third. Okay. There you go now. I'm just inverting the signs because I, I want to do the opposite thing, basically, you know? Look. Look how cool it is, this CSS animation. And there you go. This is what, what you have to know about these. Uh, ah, and also as well, you could just like do exactly the same thing like we did in here from before. You know, just copy this to make sure it works well on... Uh, Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Safari, you know, you, you could do exactly the same thing. So if I just go in here and copy this out, um, now I have to put the minus on all of them. Minus, 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 minus. Okay. So you, you can see that this is rotating. Like I didn't know if I explained now. I'm just a bit lost. This is rotating like 45 degrees, you know? That's why, you know how it's like 45 degrees. It's just a little bit down. Like uh, if you're going 90 degrees, it's going to be like completely like this. Yeah. Okay. So we got this working. Uh, now let's make... We, we got the click event now. We got this one uh, opening and closing. Now we want to put our um, menu in here. Let's go back to our code. And in here, I'm going to go to our index.html. And just after our navigation bar, I'm going to put this new uh, menu. So this, this new menu is going to be mobile mobile menu and okay so let's see how does it look like so far so there you go this is our menu but we want it to just like be displayed whenever we click on this one okay so i want it initially so let's go back in here i want it to be initially um i'm gonna put in here mobile menu i want it to be display none okay so if i just press this it's gone okay and now if we go to our um, main.js whenever we click our hamburger menu uh, i want to grab our mobile mobile file menu and i'm gonna put dot toggle this is like a jquery method like if he's if he's like hidden he's gonna show if he's showing he's gonna hit each time you click of course let's save this refresh the page and if i click in here now it's showing now it's gone now it's showing now it's gone so <laughs> Basically, you know, this is how you do it. Okay, so let's just style this a little bit quickly. Okay, so now let's just style this a little bit. So in here, I'm going to give this a, for the mobile menu, I want this to, um, let's say I have a background color of gray. Just refresh the page and yep. Why is this with the, um, this is the menu. I just want to get rid. So in here, there is nothing. Ah, okay. Let's see in here. Right. So I want my mobile. I want my mobile menu UL. So UL. I want it to have no padding and no margin. So padding zero, 
margin zero. Okay, let's see. That's fine. Now I want the text aligned to be center. Let's see how does it look like. So now it's in here. Great. I want now to be the mobile UL LIA. This is the anchors that we have inside. I want to be with the color of white and uh, I want the text decoration to be none. This is like the, the line that is under text decoration none. Yeah, so this is all fine now. I want that now whenever I'm doing, um, whenever I'm hovering a mobile UL Li, so I'm going to put in here over, over, I want the background color to be, uh, let's say, uh, light uh, blue, just an example. So if I go, oops, oh, light blue, no, it's not um, light green. I don't know if this is a color, <laughs> it is. Okay, let's refresh. You see, okay, if we click about me, ah, that's because now we need to, we need to actually link this. Uh, so if I go in here, I want this to, Let's go in here to my about me. I have an ID about me on the about me section. So if I go in here and I put about me, the same ID. If I go to skills now, my skills. Okay, so I'm gonna put in here my skills, my skills, okay. Let's refresh the page, open this one now, clicking about me, and there we go, we are in the about me. Let's go in here and click on the skills and we are jumping down here and basically that's it guys. You know, in this video, you just learned how to build a um, hamburger menu with some little nice animation and yeah, basically that's it guys. I hope, I hope it was not too much confused. You know, I'm going to make a lot more tutorials like this building websites completely from scratch with these kind of things. So I just like had this idea in this video to make just this section, you know, because I know building a website, it takes a lot of time. And actually, if I'm building by myself, it's fine. I can just like do it quickly. But if I'm explaining everything like step by step, it takes a little bit more time. That's why I'm just doing this video dedicated to these. And yeah, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this with your friends, you know, because you can put these kind of things on your portfolio and it's going to really help you out. You know, like if you're trying to get a job and you can show people that you can do these kind of animations, it will stand you out from the crowd. You know, this is what I'm telling you. All right, guys, so that's it. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video.